Jet engines are amazing, and I'm going to build one for you. Three. Is this not a little bit dangerous? Yeah. Two. This is actually working. Oh, hot. One. Would you want to go and stay in my space hotel? This is not something to try at home. Here it goes. Go! According to a recent study at the University of Twente in the Netherlands... Good accent. ..people with full bladders make better decisions. There's nothing, there's nothing in the middle. Yep, yeah, the inside of a flame is hollow. Fact. The challenge is to make a rocket big enough to carry a person. Are you ready? You ready? Yeah, what? Ah! <laughs> this is... I like it. ..crash test. Dommy. What's better than the funnel of wind spinning madly? Cold, dry air from Canada would like to meet warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico for nights out, mayhem and destruction. If the updraft is strong enough, you get a lovely vortex. I say lovely, pretty torrential. Oxygen on, fire! So we're just going to strap this rather big rocket yeah. onto the wire and send it 100 metres down there. So let's just put a bit of this corn flour and water mix onto the speaker. Whoa! Here it goes. Here it goes. The movement of the diaphragm of the speaker is imparting a force on that mix, yeah. just like me punching it. Turns it solid, pushes the water molecules out of the way. The corn flour and corn starch particles kind of lock together, turn like a solid and start behaving weirdly. I'm going to pour in mm. a little bit of my fuel. Mix the fuel with the oxygen. You guys ready? Yeah. It can sometimes explode. Don't drop it. OK. Yeah, that's it. It's not a petrol engine. It's a jet engine. Wow! <laughs> yeah. Yay. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. Arm the system. Ignite. We have smoke. 